Good morning, everybody. Thank you for viewing Lydia's Insights. Today is a little of mixture of me just sharing my shortcomings with you. And so before I do that, why don't I start with my introduction that makes me feel joyful. So sprinkle, 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 a sparkle, 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 a bunch of pizzazz and all that. Yes, yeah, so, um, oh, do you like my little, I was debating whether to wear this or not, because it's so like, it's not me unless I'm like dressing for the purpose of like a Hawaiian theme of anything, but as I was like, I always liked this shirt, didn't get rid of it when it was given to me, the material's great, and so I just kept it because I was like, you know, on those Hawaiian days, I'm going to wear it, today is not Hawaiian theme day at school. Um, but I just wanted to wear it just because you know it's keeping it's helping me to keep cool thoughts and it's if I look at it it can take me to a place that I could be I could feel nice and cool and anyway so a little bit of that and so I believe you guys all know the ones I've you've been listening and the ones that haven't I have to take my kids to school in the morning today my middle schoolers didn't have to go to school yesterday was Labor Day and then the teachers have a, a day that their guests are going to get together and work and so no students I guess yay for the teachers Woo um, but the high schoolers had to go and my high school daughter we got to leave later you know than typical because they have a new late start which is 8 30 in the morning so and I don't have to be at my class until 9 30 anywho so I want to leave the house at 7 30 because I still have to do things here at the school early and so that gives her extra time when we typically have to leave at what 7 15 um, so that's 15 minutes extra, right? So, but she didn't make it. No, and I didn't leave the house exactly at 7.30. I left the house like at 7.33, I believe. Anyway, yeah, I know. Yeah, some of you are saying like, well, it's only three minutes. Like, yes, but the point is, is that she wasn't ready at 7.30. And so I left the house without her my plan was is to stop stop off and get a little bite to eat with the two high schoolers she didn't make it my son made it um, and it's just interesting how the dynamics is like so she was missing so then he was like kind of down and then I was late later than he wanted to be to get to school yeah you just can't please everybody right <laughs> so He's upset because he had told a friend, oh, I'll be there at your house early, and then he's not going to be there early. And But look, I bought you food. But yeah, it's like. And then, so at the high school, I'm, you know, it's only two lanes for lane going this way and another lane coming this way. So two lanes, right? But both of them are going in the opposite direction, okay? So I'm there early. I'm dropping off my son, trying to, I should say, and this lady, she wasn't a high school student. If it was a high school student, then maybe it'd be more forgiving. I don't know. But she just stops there, which, yeah, that typically happens where a lot, a lot of people will stop on the street and this, their kids will get out, but quickly. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because they're getting out quickly, right? Well, this I felt was so... Let me see, how do I say this? So disregarding of others and so rude and inconsiderate, she stopped and her kid was getting out and then he had his Chromebook and then he was pulling a charger out and then she got out of the car and she was out and she was, you know, just standing there and, you know, just like look at him, not telling him to hurry. And then he was just taking his sweet time and I was just waiting there and I'm like, I told my son, I was like, I wish I could hug the horn. You see, it's a neighborhood as well. Um, and then it would have caused a big old scene with all the other high schoolers because even though it's early, since there's no buses, there's all these kids there already. 
So I just went around because I just got like, and there was already a car behind this lady. And so then I was a second car behind and I just got tired of waiting. And then I went around. Well, there was at that time that I was going around, there was a car wanting to turn right. And then they couldn't because of me. Oh my gosh. Just like, so I went where I I wanted to I was able to pull in a place where you can pull into temporarily to drop off your kid not blocking any traffic right and yeah so I guess I'm like speaking as if I'm self-righteous right now but hey that irritated me and it bugged me and I'm just like oh so what my lesson is because I this is important when you get irritated and you feel bugged and you feel your blood boiling have to step back <laughs> once the once the initial got to step back and say okay when this happens again I'm gonna breathe through it I'm gonna get through it I'm gonna do my best to be the woman or man that I want to be through this situation what do I want to be what do I want to represent or you can do what I'm gonna do avoid the place altogether <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just like not even gonna go in that direction. And if I, if by chance, there's another time I need to drop them off at the school, I'm gonna go another way and drop them off at another place, like possibly like a parking lot close by, and they still have to walk. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Oh my goodness. So anyways, I'm here at school now, and you know I'm still feeling like uh. And I'm just praying, asking God to help me. And there's um, Pastor Chuck Smith. He always, at the end of his teaching, he always does like these prayers. And so he comes on at 7:30. And so then around eight, he's doing that prayer at the end of his at the end of his teaching. And I'm just like, this happened, right? You know, just happened. So I'm just like, like everything is like. And I'm trying to listen to him, but there's just too much blood and too much, you know, the flow of blood. And I'm just like, every the adrenaline and everything is just at the top. <laughs> I know, right? That I let this get to me so bad. But so I'm trying to focus on his prayer, but I just can't. I just I'm not able to. And and so then, therefore, I'm just like, Lord, you know how I love hearing his prayer the end because it's such a uplifting prayer it's always such a blessing of a prayer like the bless your day the bless your week and so I was like Lord even though I didn't hear it please may it be upon me and others that I truly care about um, and Lord may I just have a little sprinkle of your special love and your special prayer for me as well ah yes and that gives me joy and that gives me peace and okay I feel better now. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> All right. May you be blessed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah. Can you say tune in? No, I don't think so. For touching the button to listen. That's not even a button. Anyways, may you be blessed as well. Have a beautiful, wonderful day in this heat. If you live here in Northern California, you're going for a heat wave. And I believe in Southern California, they just got done with a thunderstorm. Um, and the other parts of the world. I have a friend that's in Ecuador right now and the weather is beautiful there. So lucky him. Anyways, have a great day, great week, and be blessed. Bye-bye.